demonstrated three different dishes today and I choose them because um, the techniques I use for those dishes are very um, um, particular or very um, significant of, of what we do at Favikan. Uh, the first one was a, a crust of dried pig's blood, which we normally fill with trout stew, but here in Australia I fill it with uh, sea urchin. Uh, the second one was um, a dish that at home it would be uh, scallops and moss and juniper branches. And here was um, uh, Sydney rock oysters just on the on the grill, but slightly heated in the shell, with uh, placed on a some burning uh, eucalyptus bush and uh, different pieces of what you can find in the Australian forest bark and, and dead leaves and so on. And the third one was um, uh, bone marrow, uh, raw cow's heart, and uh, wheat grass on a little toast with some herb salt. On. When it comes to the food, it's a unique product because it's a uh, unique kitchen and uh, it's also served in a very special place. It's an old, old uh, mountain estate. It's, uh, the dining room is an uh, old grain storage from 1745 and there's so much culture and, and history in the place as well, so it adds on to the experience a lot. For me it's a question about quality. Um, because of our location and the logistics surrounding it, it it's not possible to get any uh, decent quality if you don't get it from very locally. Um, and then the fact that it's uh, good for the environment and that it's often uh, farmed in a sustainable way in our location, it's, uh, that's just bonus, but the, the, the key thing is the quality. Well, trial and error. I started out just trying and finding interesting ways to work and, and seeing what actually gave me quality. I've been doing this for 13 years now, even if I'm pretty young, I'm only 28. It's, I've been doing this for all of my adult life and I feel that I have a pretty good grip on, uh, on how to cook and I feel that I, I probably master my techniques pretty well. So I, I rarely think about that side of it. I just try to find the produce, uh, the products and cook them in the simplest possible way and then serve them in a very simple way so it doesn't overshadow the greatness of the product. I think it would be nice if I could look back and see that I made a lot of people happy by giving them a very good experience in the restaurant. If you have the opportunity to uh, put yourself in a situation that can create as much pleasure for yourself and for your environment as possible, uh, you should make those decisions, make that happen, and that's what I do.